ninja. Oh, be ja ten wo bo ninja. Oba to ja mi mo to so mi mo to wo mi mo to ja mi mo to to mi mo to be mi mo bo ra. Oba to ga 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 ju aye lo. Jesus, I hear what our Lord will shout. Is the heaven 
So to the Lord, oh yeah, to the right, uh -huh. to the left, uh -huh. to the right, uh -huh. to the left, yeah. to the right, to the left, uh -huh. to the right, to the left, to the right. You can come on there for Jesus now. Nah. If you're ready, you are flying on eagle's wings. Are you ready? Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the one who sets me free. Hallelujah. Then has lost his grief on me. Oh, he has broken every chain. Yes. Set salvation in your name. Jesus Christ, my living Tell your neighbor to give you space tonight. If truly you are free already, if truly there is nothing disturbing you from flying now, you are going to jump and wave your handkerchief and declare it. Are you ready? Say, Hallelujah. Everybody. Praise the one who sets me free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Save you forever, say yeah. I'm gonna save you forever. Come on, come on. Ayah, ayah. Praise the one who sets me free. Hallelujah. 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 Praise
Worship Jesus all over the building tonight. Yeshu Mungo de Makayo Umbaki Ji Ekele Kaisa Soyapo Yeshu Mungo de Makayo Umbaki Ji Authority in heaven and earth will bless your name. The King of Kings will exalt you. The Lord of Lord will exalt you. The mighty one will give you all of the praise tonight. Thank you for bringing us here yourself. Thank you for all that which you have done. Thank you for your grace that has sustained us. Thank you for your power at work in this place. Father, tonight we raise our voice to say thank you. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father and our God, we bank upon your mercy. And we ask that you show us mercy tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, use me to communicate your word to your people. Speak to us with simplicity and with power. And at the end of today, cause us to mount up with wings as eagles in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Can somebody shout hallelujah? All over the house tonight, can we shout hallelujah? I want to bless the God and his grace that has found me to be here tonight. I do not take it for granted 
I want to specially appreciate our father and our mother in the Lord. Daddy Gio and Mommy Gio, thank you so much for having us. I want to use the same privilege to tell you and wish you happy birthday. From all of your children, we want to say happy birthday to you, Daddy. We wish you long life and prosperity. Thank you for the good work you've laid up on our hands and we will ensure never to put you to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. The topic before us tonight is on the eagle's wing. On eagle's wings. The topic for tonight is a powerful theme that no man should trivialize here tonight. And the Bible passage is from the book of Isaiah chapter 40. The book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28 to verse 31. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28 to verse 39. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the end of the head, fainted not, neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that had no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. The Lord bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, I will want us to begin with the meaning of the theme of tonight. And to start tonight, I want us to consider the two subject matter, eagle and wings. What is an eagle? An eagle is a large and powerful bird that soars so high majestically in the air, while the wing on the other hand is a part of the bird's body that enables her to fly so high and can balance even in the sky. So what is eagle's wing itself? What is eagle's wing? Literally, eagle's wing are the part of eagle's body that enables her to swipe so high, majestically, and that also enables her to gain balance, even in the sky. Revelation chapter 4, from verse 6 to verse 9. The book of Revelation chapter 4, verse 6 to verse 9. Began to give us understanding of the creatures that are in heaven. And the Bible told us that the first creature was like a lion. And the second creature was like a lamb. And he told us that the tall living creature in heaven had the likeness and had the face of a man. And that the fourth one, he said, was like an eagle. So tonight, the theme of tonight is entered on that eagle. And I want to draw our attention to some certain things of an eagle. This gave us understanding and wisdom that there is something special of all this living creature called an ego. You begin to see the Bible making references to ego. What is it about an ego that Christians will learn? Tonight, before I move forward, I will tell us lessons that we can learn from the life and the characteristics of an ego. The first one, ego has a sharp and a clear vision. The length and the breadth you can go in life is determined by how far you can see. How far you can see will determine how far you can go. Genesis chapter 37 from verse 5 to verse 9. The book of Genesis chapter 37 verse 5 to verse 9. Told us about a young man called Joseph. Joseph caught a dream and a vision. He saw himself becoming a great man. He held on to this vision until those things became reality. Lesson number two from the life of an eagle. Ego flies alone. Can I tell you tonight, your dream and your vision is different from that of your neighbor. So if you want to live your life as your friend is living in, and I tell you tonight, it is possible that you might not achieve your dreams. Much wonder the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17 says, Separate you from among them. 
there must be a separation between you and them for your destiny to be fulfilled. The fulfillment of your destiny is personal. How can you fly with others? No, chicken and birds cannot fly together. You are eagle and they are birds. You are eagle and they are chicken. There is differences between eagle and chicken. Your destination is different from theirs. Your vision is different from theirs. Lesson number three from an eagle. Eagle don't feed on dead animals. Much wonder what the Bible tells us in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. That even as the open babies, this I had since he had meant to grow. You need to feed on the living word of God. Lesson number four from an eagle. Eagle swai higher and higher regardless the storm. Regardless whatsoever come its way. Can I tell you tonight? Regardless the challenges and the circumstances that confront you, never give up. Regardless the situation you find yourself, never give up. Daniel chapter 11 and verse 32 b Daniel chapter 11 and verse 32 b says, And they who do not their God shall be strong and do exploit. Can I ask you a sincere and a simple question tonight? Do you know Jesus? If you know Jesus, there is nothing to fear. Because with Jesus, you can swear, so I, and so far, in life and in destiny. Lesson number five from an eagle. Eagle lays off old feathers and weak. Eagle lays off old feathers and weak. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 5 tells us, Lay aside every weight and sin that does easily beset you. You cannot fly if those weight and sins are still in your body. And that is why you came tonight. That you will lay aside all the weights and the sin that does easily beset you. Can I also tell you tonight, it is an error for you to return with that sickness. That is why you came. You came to encounter God such that you can drop all of the sickness, all of the challenges, and all the pains right at the feet of Jesus Christ. Having said it all, why should I mount up on the eagle's wings? I think I've done enough in respect to the many and characteristics of an eagle. You need to know why you must mouth up on the eagle's wing. Follow me carefully tonight. Number one, to live as a royalty. Why should I mount up with wings like eagle? Number one, to live as royalty. Have you forgotten that first Peter chapter 2 and verse 9? First Peter chapter 2 and verse 9 told us that we are royal priesthood. A holy nation, a peculiar person. So you don't need to live like a chicken, live like an eagle that God has made you to be. Part of the royalty of God, who happens to be the king of kings, will rub off on you only if you can, or only if you can live as a royalty. Journey with kings tonight. Journey with the king of kings tonight. That you may live as a royalty. You cannot journey or fly with the king of kings and remain the same negatively. No, sir. Part of his royalty will rub off on you. In as much as you can come before God, in as much as you can come to God, the kingly part of God will rub on you, and you'll begin to legislate as kings. Can you look at somebody beside you that looks like king or as eagle that you are? Tell them that you have been made kings to reign here on earth. Second Samuel chapter 9, verse 1 to verse 10. Second Samuel chapter 9. From verse 1 to verse 10, gave us a typical example of a man who had a contact with the king. Mind you, this king we're talking about in the scriptures was the king of the earth.
scriptures. Mida, can you show me the scriptures? Second Kings chapter 9. Show me verse 1. Second Kings chapter 9, verse 1. And David said, Is there yet any left in the house of Saul that I may for Jonathan's sake? Is there somebody here tonight that will have a contact with the king of kings? Is there somebody here tonight that will have a contact with the Lord of Lords? If you are here tonight, I congratulate you. Is there anyone left in the house of Saul? Says the scribe. Can I tell you tonight? God was searching for men. And he went into the family of Adeboye. And he said, is there anybody in the family of Adeboye that I can make a royalty and a king such that he can reign here on earth? And the Lord find our father and the Lord. When you check verse 4, the Bible says in the verse 4, and the king said unto him, where is he? And Ziba said unto the king, Behold, is in the house of Micah, the son of Hamiel, in Lodiba. Can I tell you tonight? Your current location does not matter. What matters tonight is that you need to locate the one who can cause you to mount on the eagle's wings. I know a God that can pick a man from Lodiba and set him in the palace. And that God will locate you tonight in the name of Jesus. If the Lord carries you on his wing, where you are does not matter. He picked Mephibosheth from Lodiba and make him to become to sit with kings. And with people that matter, may that God locate you tonight in the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. It said, He has made us unto God kings and priests. After this special legal service, you will begin to sit with the kings and the mightiest in the name of Jesus. I don't want to know your family background. I came with the one who can cause a man to mount on the eagle's wing. Who can make a man to fly so high. I decree in that name tonight. Your common location does not matter. My God can take you from there to where you are to operate. In the name of Jesus. Why should I mount up on the eagle's wing? Number two. To operate with Christ far above principalities and power. To operate with Christ far above principalities and power. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 20 to verse 22. Ephesians chapter 1, from verse 20 to verse 22, begin to give us understanding of where we ought to operate as God's children. If Jesus carries you, you will begin to operate. In the same realm and level where Jesus operates. The Bible says Jesus has been lifted far above principalities and power. So if this Jesus can carry me, I can operate far above principality and power. If Jesus can carry you, you will begin to operate in the same realm of power and dominion. The book of John chapter Better works than this, sir, ye do. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, and the works that I do, greater works than this shall he do, because I go up to my father. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 8. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 8 says, when Jesus was ascending high, he led the captives captive, and he gave gift to men. Then verse 11 says, to some he gave apostles, to some he gave prophets, 
to some, he kept pastors, to some evangelists, to some teachers. Why? Because that is what we ought to be here on earth. Why should we month up as he goes? Number three, to enjoy the grace of ease and speed. To enjoy the grace of ease and speed. When you fly on the eagle's wings, things that take men like 10 years can take you just 10 months. Why? Because you are not working on banking on your strength. It is the eagle himself that is carrying you. So it can cause you to achieve what takes men 10 years to get. If others are laboring to get in, look for the eagle and let him carry you. When the eagles carry you, it will make you to achieve those things effortlessly. How do we explain all of these wonders? It's because we are mounting up on the eagle's wing. Your strength might have failed you. Your capacity might have failed you, but you can bank on the strength of the Lord. If others are, in, are facing difficulty, you can begin to enjoy double ease. Why? Because God the Father is showing you favor and ease. And then men are also showing you ease. Because you are soaring or flying on the eagle's wing. Number four, why? Should we mount up on eagle's wing to enjoy victory? To enjoy victory. For Psalm chapter 17, verse 42 to 51, recorded about a man called David who got victory. He defeated Goliath, the captain of the Philistine. It was not by his strength. It was because he was operating on the strength of the eagle. The eagle has carried David, so David can kill the Goliath with just a stone. How do we explain this? It is the workability of the eagle's power at work in your life. If the eagle can carry you, all of these realities are possible. The Lord granted David victory and brought down the head of Goliath, the captain of the Philistine. Let Jesus carry you so that he can win the battle for you. Enough of fighting the battle by yourself. Let him who can win the battle carry you. Be carried on the Hindu's wings. Second Kings chapter 1 verse 9 to 15. Told us of all about a man. Second Kings chapter 1 verse 9 to verse 15. Told us about Elijah. The king wanted to devour him. Little did he know that he has mounted on the eagle's wing. He said in verse 50, Elijah called out fire and consumed them. He called upon the second 50. They went to Elijah. Elijah consumed the second 50. And then the third 50 out to operate in wisdom. And went before him, who has been carried by the eagle's wing. And told him, please, just come with us. When you begin to operate on the eagle's wing, you have victory so cheaply. Why should I mount up on eagles with number five? So that you can fly so high in life and in destiny. There is no limit to how far God can take you. You can go so wide and so far. Only if you can allow God, the eagle himself, to carry you. How do we explain of a man that slept and woke up as a prisoner? But before the end of the day, he found himself in the palace. It was because he was carried on the eagle's wing. Genesis chapter 41, verse 39 to verse 44. But I want to take verse 44. Genesis chapter 41 and verse 44. Can we read it together? The Bible says, And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh. And without thee shall no man lift up his hand or his foot in the land. Pharaoh bank upon the integrity of his, of his name and made the pronouncement upon the man who has been carried on the eagle's wing. How to mount up on the eagle's wing? 
haven't knew the reasons why you must mount up, can I tell you now how you must mount up on the English wing? We've discussed extensively why you must mount up. Now can I tell you how to mount up on this English wing? Number one, position your mind and desire to be lifted by the eagle. Position your mind and desire to be carried by God himself. No man wait upon the Lord and return the same. When you come before the Lord, he carries you like a baby. Have you seen a mother carrying the baby before? The baby operates under his. Proverbs 23 and verse 7 it says, As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. So your today is a direct reflection of your thought and your thinking system. Your today is a direct reflection of your desires. Do you want, do you want to mount on the eagle's wing? Allow Jesus to carry you. You can ask him to carry you and he will definitely. Number two, wait upon the Lord. And you look for somebody that looks like a person you want to be and tell him, wait upon the Lord. The destiny of those that wait, don't waste. If you cannot wait in his presence, can I tell you tonight, you can end up in wasted in life and in destiny. Wait on Jesus. Just as the little one, we always depend on your father and your mother. Isaiah chapter 30 verse, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 30 to 31. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 30 to 31. says, even the youth they faint. Could this be the reason why the youth of our generation are fainting? Because they don't want to wait. The youth of my generation are rushing. No, there is a place called a waiting place. You need to wait, sir. Number three, how to mount up on the eagle's wing. Set your gaze on Jesus. Enough of looking unto men. Set your gaze on Redirect your focus to God. It's the one that carry you. Has man not failed you enough? As people not fed you enough, beg on unto him who can carry you. Take your trust away from man. Psalm 121 verse 1 says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? And that help will come to you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. The best of a man is always a man. Is it not the man that the Bible says is that he does really wicked? No. Don't depend on man. Depend on the eagle himself. Let the eagle carry you. Tell somebody here tonight. Let the eagle carry you. Hebrews 12 verse 2 says, looking up to Jesus, the earth and the finish of our feet. Number four, how to mount up on eagle's wing. Depend on his strength. His strength is enough for you. When you allow Jesus to carry you, you don't need to depend on your strength or your wisdom. Just relax and allow him to fly you to the destination of your dream point. There is no height or limit to God. There is no height or limit that God can take you. Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6 says, Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6 says, Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, yes, the Lord. It is not by the power of man. It is by the power of the eagle himself. It is by the power of Jesus himself. The strength of Nero and Cobb has even failed us in our nation. It is time for God's children to begin to depend on the strength and on the power of the Lord. Our nation can depend on the strength of Jesus. Our economy can depend on the strength of Jesus. Number five, surrender your life and all to Jesus and follow him. Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. Begin to tell us about the making process. Jesus told Peter, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. The making process starts from the point you begin to follow Jesus. If you can begin to follow Jesus, I tell you, you have commenced. The making process. God will make men here tonight. 
For men who can decide to follow Jesus, the Lord will make you what you want to be in the name of Jesus. Before an eaglet will start to fly, obey the instruction of the mother eagle. And after a while, you begin to see it flying so high. Our Father, and the, Lord, the instruction of God, he lay aside his career and his ambition of becoming the youngest vice chancellor. And he went to a very small mansion there in Mushi. From Mushi, he was directed by the instruction of the Lord. And he obeyed to come to the jungle of Ibando Expressway. Kai. Who can tell that our same jungle will become a city where kings and nobles from all around the world, both white and black, will come to seek the face of the Lord? Can you obey the instruction and the command of the eagle tonight? Jesus is that eagle we are talking about. Obey him. Listen to his instruction. No matter how bad or how worse you think your case may be, what you need to do is to submit to the lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ. What you need to do is to surrender all to him. And watch him make your life an amazing wonder. No matter what deep you are in sin, no matter what broken you may think you are, no matter how worse your challenge can be, I can tell you tonight, can I tell you tonight? Jesus can gather up your broken pieces, mend them, and make you what you want to be. Jesus is calling on you today. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 says, Come unto me, all ye that are both in and heavenly laden, and I will grant thee rest. When our Father and the Lord come tonight for the other call, I want to beseech you in the name of Jesus. Rush out with speed and give your life to him. Rush out with speed and surrender all to Jesus. Can we rise up tonight as we pray? Rise up tonight as we pray. Cry at the top of your voice. Say, Jesus, carry me on your wings to the mountain top. Holy Ghost, carry me on your wings to my place of destiny. Carry me to the place of power. Carry me to the place of influence. Carry me to my dreamland. Carry me to my place of destiny. Can you open your mouth and pray? It can carry you to now. First, we want to thank our daddy and our mommy for this opportunity and again to say happy birthday to our daddy. Beloved, this offering that you are giving tonight is not just an ordinary offering. It is a destiny-defining offering because it is not just that you give, Neither is it what you give, but also when you give. The Bible tells us in Judges chapter number 6, beginning at verse 11, that Gideon was in a wine press threshing wheat. He was in obscurity, dealing with insecurity and he had no destiny but he had an encounter with a word from the Lord and when he got that word he said in Judges chapter number 6 verse 17 Judges 6 verse 17 if everything you have told me is true stay here until I bring you an offering. When he brought the offering, the angel received it by fire. He went from obscurity to notoriety. He went from insecurity to being a mighty man of valor. And he went from the least in his family to being the greatest in his family. I believe that for someone who is sowing this seed tonight, 
on the night that we celebrate the death of our Lord Jesus Christ and his blood being shed for us to change our destiny, someone that's here tonight, your destiny will shift in Jesus' name. And you will, by virtue of this seed, you will find yourself on eagle's wings going from the least in your family to the greatest in your family. So I'm asking you to please package your offering. And if you check on the screen, you're going to see if you are sowing by way of your electronic devices. We have several platforms that you can sow on. And we're going to ask you to please, ma'am, please, sirs, use all of those platforms so that you have the ability to give into this ministry. Let us pray. My Father, I thank you in advance for what I sense you are going to do. And because we have had an encounter all this week with your word, by virtue of this seed that we sow tonight, answer your children by fire. My Father, move your children from the back to the front in Jesus' mighty name. And because my Father and my God, you saved the best for last, let this night's seed be the defining moment in the destiny of your people. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed into the hands of our choristers at this time. Supernatural Baba, dependable Jehovah Most High. Now you be the original God. Supernatural Baba, dependable Jehovah Most High. Now you be the original God. Supernatural Baba. Supernatural Baba. Supernatural, 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 Jehovah Most High, I be the original God. Oh, I give you sacrifice of praise. Kill all the shame. I you Baba. There is nothing difficult for you. If by chance you have not had an opportunity to sow, we're going to ask you to please go to the nearest basket to you and give your seed at that time. My Father, we thank you so very much for all of the seed that have been given by your children. We know that, my daddy, whenever a seed is sown, there must be a harvest. And because we have covenanted with this great mission, 
We are asking that our return would not be 30, would not be 60, but let it be a hundredfold return, not many days from now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let everyone shout another thunderous hallelujah. Now clap your hands and give our God a great praise, please. Jump. 